So at the moment, I just wanted to talk to hopefully any future au pairs that have stumbled across this video or any um, people that are considering it. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about money because you never really know about expenses until you actually get here. So I'm slowly learning that there are a lot of expenses that you don't really think about when you come. Um, I'm all right money-wise, um, but I don't know. I just felt like talking about it because um, it's an important thing to think about as you are um, contemplating moving halfway across the world. So one of, just to kind of sum up some costs that um, kind of have been on my mind or you have to think about. So first off, of course, your airfare is there. So I only bought the one-way ticket at the moment because I'm not sure um, what the end of six months will bring, whether I go visit some friends somewhere or whether I do more traveling. So that's why I bought the one-way ticket. That was 1100 US dollars. So a round trip ticket could easily be about two grand, um, give or take. So there's that. And then you also have the travel costs that come with that, whether you need a passport, um, a visa. My visa to be here in Australia was about 300 US dollars. So you have to have that in mind, as well as any food that you're gonna eat at the airport, um, if you're going to buy some more clothes, those are all travel expenses that you don't always think about. So from there, then once you arrive in Australia, you got to think about transportation. So like my Opal card is great. I love having it, but you have to think about that. My ferry ride cost to get into the Sydney um, Opera House was about $6, which in hindsight, is not that much. Um, but then you also just got to think, it adds up really fast. Today, I had $20 on my Opal card, and between a ferry ride, a tram ride, and a bus ride, I spent like $11, which, again, pretty darn cheap for how much I did today, um, or compared to Uber or Lyft. But it's something to consider when you're thinking about. Another thing to consider is a phone plan. So I had to buy a SIM card while I'm here because um, I don't have an international plan with Verizon because they wanted $10 a day, yes, a day, um, to use my phone. And if you're going to be here for six months, that's a lot of money. So I bought a SIM card here from Aldi's. Um, it was just like a $5 thing with $5 of credit on it. Um, and you can choose your plan. So the plan I chose was just $15 every 30 days. And you get 3 gigabytes of data. And then basically unlimited calling and texting. So it's not too bad. $15 is pretty good. Um, it just depends on if you are... A data lover which I'm starting to uh, really realize how much I use my phone because back home I had unlimited data so I wasn't thinking about it whereas here it goes by fast and you got to really be cautious about what you're googling and stuff because it eats up data really fast so there's that and then the other thing is all these like traveling and um, other travel expenses, like if you want to go do excursions. So, like I said, climbing this, the um, Sydney Harbor Bridge, that's going to be about two, three hundred dollars Australian dollars, which is pretty steep to climb a bridge for three hours. Um, but it's something I've always wanted to do, so you can bet I'm going to spend the money on that because. When am I ever going to come to Australia again? So it's just something to really think about. Um, in the future, I really want to go diving, uh, scuba diving up in Carnes or Canes or however they pronounce it. 
but that might be a couple hundred dollars as well. And then plus my way to get up there. Um, just a lot of little things that you might not realize. I am coming to the consensus with myself and trying to retrain my brain that these things that I've always wanted to do, I need to do them because when am I ever going to get a chance to come here again? I have no clue. So uh, I want to really live my dash and do what I can while I'm here. So um, like I said, there's really only three things that are top of the bucket list, must do. Um, I would be heartbroken if I didn't do them while I'm here. So the first one is climb the Sydney Harbor Bridge. So I'll save up money 100% for that one uh, because it is top of my list. One of the three, I should say. Second thing that I must do while I am in Australia is go to the Australian Zoo. So this is the zoo that Steve Irwin and his family has created. Um, that's about 11 hour drive from here. But again, it's something I've always wanted to see. And they have different animal encounter experiences with um, animals there. And you can bet I'm probably going to spend the 100 Australian dollars to do that because when am I ever going to get to hold a koala again? When am I ever going to like pet a kangaroo? Um, they have a North American section, which I'm definitely not going to see just because I can go back to Fonderosa to see those. Um, but they have like an Australian animals, which I want a chance to see, such as like platypus and animals like that. So that's top of my list. And of course, I got to get there. So just thinking about that. And then the third thing was scuba diving. Um, I've always wanted to go scuba diving. And what better place to go than the Great Barrier Reef? So that's even further north than that. So I don't even know how long of a drive that is. But again, it's going to cost money to do that and to get there. As well as places to stay. Here in Sydney, since I live here right now, um, I don't have to worry about that, which is nice. But when I do go to, um, I believe it's the Sunshine Coast and up there to Carnes, I'm going to have to really think about that. And so just, that's just something for future au pairs to think about. Uh, really evaluate what you want to do while you are where you are. Um, and really think about what is going to be best for you. Um, saving and planning wise because ultimately um, you need to make the most out of your experiences because you probably might not get to do this ever again. So that's just my little advice to any future au pairs as well as anybody back home watching this. Um, go live your life. Go spend that money on that plane ticket because you can't bring money to the grave with you. And nobody's going to ask for it when you're dead. So really think about that and try and live the, your life and enjoy the experiences now while you can. Because there's so much to do out there. And personally, I would like to know that when someday I do die and pass away, that I have done everything I've wanted to do and have lived my dash. I want to make sure that that's at my funeral someday, that she did everything that she wanted to accomplish and she has no regrets. So hopefully you don't regret anything, um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about that just because it was something I was thinking about today as I was out and about. So hopefully that helps someone and go out and live your dash, guys.